I've known Pevensey Levels, a wide, flat vista of birds, all my life. In days past, I would watch large flocks of lapwing rising up above the marshes and geese grazing on the marshy wet meadows beneath. But not so much today. The levels, once covered in sea, are one of the largest reclaimed seabed areas in England. Today, Pevensey Levels is a managed agricultural landscape. With so many precious creatures living there and so many threats to their well-being, it made me want to showcase their beauty while I still could and highlight the work of land managers who farm this land in a nature-friendly way. To capture some of the beauty and the wild characters of Pevensey Levels need a commitment to some early mornings to film the magic sunrise, but several filming weeks were abandoned as the clouds refused to budge. However, when they did, the experience was incredible. When you think of this wild but managed landscape, it is natural to think of birds and especially predators quartering for prey. I knew there were barn owls about, but several attempts on different days were needed to catch them at home and respect the fact that too much action might spook them. I really wanted to find lapwing, but numbers are plummeting and my lens just wouldn't do the faraway flock I did discover any justice. Marsh harriers were camera shy too, and I knew the very elusive water rail might be far too difficult to find. I really wanted to showcase this unusual elusive bird to engineer some sympathy for its protection, so I went to the Wildfowl and Wetland Trust Sarindal Reserve in West Sussex to record a stock shot. With an extensive area to cover, tricky weather and declining bird numbers, we all could have been more productive without the restrictions of Covid, but it really came home to roost when my human stars had to isolate themselves with it too. The Harding family manage an organic farm on the levels and are very involved with the Sussex Wildlife Trust whose nature reserve, home to the very rare Femrath spider, abuts their land. Both farmers and trust are committed to conservation of the wild ecosystems in their care and beyond and typify the attitude of many, though not all, involved in managing the patchwork of fields on the levels. I asked for an hour of their time and discovered a filming schedule realistically needed a day. Being busy folk, I was very grateful for their patience, enthusiasm and endless retakes to get the right shot. Thank you for meeting me, David. How have you... what was it? It doesn't surprise me that this attention to detail and support of others means that they invest time and money into projects that bring them an increase in wildlife assets, but not their own. Like the pond, the reed bed, small woodlands and no chemicals on their land. If I'd been making a longer length film in a less restricted environment, I would certainly have tried for a lapwing a view of life beneath the water's surface in those ditches and interviews with the Wildlife Trust, the Environment Agency and bird watchers. But I take with me from this film the drone work, interview experience and sound syncing knowledge. So there's a full length feature film just waiting to be developed by people who care about the place and want to protect it. I look forward to it.